first sign that North Korea had detonated a nuclear device came with what was called an artificial earthquake. It measured between magnitude 4.9 and 5.1, quite large. Then news reports appeared that Pyongyang had warned China and the United States that it would conduct this test today. It appears, based on this seismic reading, that this device could have been between 6 and 7 kilotons. Now, that's much bigger than North Korea's first nuclear test in 2006 and slightly more powerful than the 2009 detonation. But that is still less than half the force of the 1945 atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki. Still, it is a worry for North Asia and it is a worry for Washington as well. This test is worrying on two other fronts. The first being, did Pyongyang use plutonium, like in its first two tests, or has it succeeded with a highly enriched uranium device? If it has, that gives it a new and ready source of material for nuclear weapons. The second point is that while this test may have been impressive, can North Korea miniaturise this device to put it on a missile, like the missile it launched late last year? The answer to that is probably no, but it is certainly one step closer now to achieving that goal.